Our objectives in this lesson are to define the parameters used in statistical analysis and identify the parameter to be tested in real-life problem. Let's have a quick review. Let us identify the following. Number one, it is the totality of objects, individuals, or events under study or investigation. We call this population. Number two, it is a subset of the population. This is sample. Next one, it is the numerical value that describes the characteristics of a population. This is parameter. And last one, it is a numerical value that describes the characteristics of a sample. This is a statistic. Notice that I use the same colors for population and parameter as well as for sample and a statistic. And also, I emphasize the first letter of the words. So if the data is about population, we call it parameter. If the data is about sample, we call it a statistic. Let us also recall the symbols for parameter and a statistic for the following that I discussed in one of our lessons before, computing parameter and a statistic. For mean, for the parameter, we use the symbol mu. In a statistic, we use x bar. In variance, for parameter, we use sigma squared. And for a statistic, we use s squared. For standard deviation, for parameter, we use sigma. And for a statistic, we use s. Proportion, for parameter, we use p. Other books use capital P. And for a statistic, we use P hat. For the elements in parameter, we use capital X. And for a statistic, a small letter X. For the size in parameter, we use capital N. And for a statistic, we use a small letter N. For correlation coefficient in parameter, we use raw. And for a statistic, we use a small letter r. Here are the most common parameters that we use in hypothesis testing. We have the measures of central tendency. These are the mean, the median, and the mode. We also have the standard deviation. It tells us how the data are spread from the central tendency. And if we have normal distribution, we have the mean and standard deviation. Let's have an activity. Parameters in notation. Identify the parameter and express the statement in notation form. Number one, the average life span for golden retrievers is at most 12 years old. So we are talking about average. The symbol of average in parameter is mu. And then we have here the keyword at most. So meaning it could be less than or equal to. Less than or equal to 12. Next one. 85% of teens aged 13 to 17 use YouTube as video sharing platform. Here we have percentage. So we are talking about proportion. And it is equal to 85%. Last one, in the Philippines, on the average, six months probationary period is observed before an employee becomes permanent. Once again, we are talking about average, and the symbol for parameter is mu, and it says here it is equal to six months. Try this, identify the parameter. The average height of children in grade 5 at a certain school is 4 feet. Letter A, is it 4 feet? B, grade 5. C, average height of 4 feet. And D, height of children in grade 5. Bear in mind that a parameter is a data that describes the population. It could be a mean or average, a standard deviation, proportion, variance, or correlation coefficient. Let us analyze which is the population in this scenario. The population here is the children in grade 5 or grade 5 students. 
Now, what data describes the population? It is the average height, which is 4 feet. So, the average height is the data that describes our population. That would be our parameter. Next one. As a teacher researcher, you want to conduct a survey to determine if class point is effective in engaging students in discussion. Which among these represent a parameter? Letter A, all teachers in the Philippines. This is actually the population. Letter B, 200 randomly selected teachers in the Philippines. This is the sample size. Letter C, 50% of teachers surveyed who said class point is effective. This is a proportion of a sample. And letter D, proportion of all teachers in the Philippines who said class point is effective. Again, our population here is all teachers in the Philippines. And the data that describes all teachers in the Philippines is the proportion. So this is our parameter. Last one, a cashier in a certain department store claims that mean waiting time in line is less than 4 minutes. A random sample of 30 customers has a mean waiting time of 3.8 minutes with a standard deviation of 0 0.7 minutes. Test the cashier's claim at alpha equals 0 0.05. We have a lot of information here. Letter A, level of significance, alpha, which is equal to 0 0.05. Definitely, this is not parameter. Letter B, random sample of 30 customers. It's already written here, random sample. So, this is the sample size, not a parameter. Letter C, is standard deviation of 0 0.7 minute. Let's find out where does this came from. 0 0.7 minute. This is the standard deviation of the 30 customers from the random sample. So 0 0.7 minute is the standard deviation of the sample. Therefore, this is also not a parameter. Letter D, mean waiting time of 3.8 minutes. Let's find out where does this came from. Mean waiting time of 3.8 minutes came from the 30 customers, which is, again, the sample. Since this data is about the sample, so this is not parameter. And letter E, we have mean waiting time of less than 4 minutes. This is actually the claim of the cashier. And this is our parameter. Let us do extra challenge. Determine the parameter to be tested and translate it into notation form. A random sample of 26 sociology students is scored 458 on Advanced Sociology National Achievement Test with a standard deviation of 20. Is this significantly different from the population average? Mu is equal to 440. For the parameter, we are given here the population mean, so this will be our parameter. Average on Advanced Sociology National Achievement Test is 440. In symbol, that would be mu is equal to 440. Another one, in a group of 371 Madis students, 42 were left-handed. Is this significantly lower than the proportion of all Filipinos who are left-handed, which is 0 0.12? So let's have the parameter, and we are given here the proportion of all Filipinos who are left-handed. That will be our parameter, and it is equal to 0 0.12. In symbol, since we have here proportion, this will be P is equal to 0 0.12. Next one, the standard deviation of IQ level is 15. The researcher wanted to find out if this is true with grade 11 students in ABCD Senior High School. For the parameter, we have here the standard deviation of IQ level is 15. In symbol, that would be standard deviation, so we have sigma is equal to 15. Here is the summary of what we discussed in this lesson. Take time to understand this. Now, it is time to check your understanding. 
Pause this video for more time. Let us answer, identify the parameter, and express the statement in notation form. Number 1, the mean height of dogs in Barangay San Andres is 21 inches. So we have here mean, so this is mu, and it is equal to 21. Number 2, according to the records, no more than 60% of registered voters in your municipality voted during SK election. We have here a proportion, so this is P, and it says here no more than, so it could be less than or equal to 0 0.6. Gets? Our next lesson is formulating appropriate null and alternative hypothesis in a population mean.